Hi, I'm Nathan Brown. I'm 12 years old. I go to Vermont Common School. And this documentary is about the health and lives of those affected by wind turbines. It was settled outside of court, and my folks wanted to take it all the way to court, and they, their health was, was failing um, because of the um, uh, infrasound that comes off those towers. You can, I don't know if your camera will pick it up, but you can certainly hear in the background, you can hear that hum. And people come up here and they say, oh, this is not bad. You know, we could live with this. You can, if that's all it was. But what it does is it goes right through the building and it vibrates everything. My mother would sit next to the picture windows in there. And she'd say, if I sit next to them or do, does the dishes on the back of the house, that the, uh, it was like a, there was a constant tuning fork going off all the time. And you don't catch it on a day or two days. You catch it after about two weeks or more and that's when it starts to affect you. So this had affected them and it got to the point where they said, okay, even though we know we're right, a uh, court battle, even if we win, we haven't won. There'll be an appeal, a court battle, an appeal. So it might take 10 years before they would ever um, actually uh, be done with the case. So they took the settlement offer and uh, and then had to sign a gag order as a result of it. Did you know in France, the highest level of sound that the government allows is 25 decibels? And you know what it is in Der Germany? It's 35. And you know the, how much sound the government allows in Vermont is? It's 45 decibels. That's a lot of sound. And a lot of sound causes sleep deprivation. And sleep deprivation causes all other kinds of things. And you know what causes that sleep deprivation? Wind turbines. And I don't know if you're pro or con, but I hope that this video maybe changes your mind a little and enlightens you about what wind turbines are doing out there in Vermont. Uh, destroyed us. Uh, when my kids would wake up at night crying, because uh, what this does is it triggers a, a response system where you're in a panic mode which would happen to me all the time. What do you do when you're in a panic mode? You're already sweating. I'm not going to sleep that night. My kids did not sleep that night. I have pictures of my kids uh, where they're just devastated. Uh, after three years of dealing with this um, and fighting with them to just do the right thing, get us out of here. They know they're harming us, uh, no results.